Assume Gedanken conditions exist in this example. Remember, Gedanken just means thought experiment. Okay, so this wouldn't physically be possible. So we're just assuming it can be. A stationary observer on Earth sees a very fast car passing by, travelling at two and a half times ten to the eight metres per second. In the car is a clock on which the stationary observer sees three seconds pass. Calculate how many seconds pass by on the stationary observer's clock during this observation. Okay, so the most important thing here is recognising what T0 is. So, here is our car. Inside the car is a clock. And there is a stationary observer outside. Now, the stationary observer is looking at the clock. Now, is the observer in the same frame of reference as the clock? No. no. So, therefore, the time on the clock... That is the time that is measuring an event in that frame of reference. So that is the proper time. The time on the clock is the proper time. Even though the car is moving and the observer's not, the clock is in a different frame of reference to the observer. So therefore, the clock must be the proper time. Okay? If they're not in the same frame of reference, they can't be measuring the same proper time. So, uh, what are we looking at? So, our time dilation equation. T is equal to T naught lambda. So we need to calculate lambda first. Now this, the Lorentz factor is why I don't let you use CAS calculators in this class. Because the Lorentz factor is going to test out how well you can use a green calculator. Okay, there's square roots, there's fractions, it's a pain. So our Lorentz factor is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus V squared over C squared. Okay, so 1 over the square root of 1 minus 2.5. Now, by the way, uh, 2.5 times 10 to the 8 and 3 times 10 to the 8, they've got the same uh, order of magnitude, so you can actually leave those out. Okay, it's just the same. 2.5 squared over 3 squared. You can do it like that. Okay, save yourself the hassle. All right. And I get a Lorentz factor of 1.8, or 1.81. So our Lorentz factor here is 1.81. If you got something different and you're not sure why, have a look at how you've done it on your green calculator. Okay, you might have uh, messed up. Yeah. There, uh, there are no units. Because time is seconds, proper time is seconds, so therefore Lorentz factor is just a multiplier. It's just a number. Okay, so the time measured by someone outside of the frame of reference is going to be equal to that. Time is equal to T naught multiplied by lambda. So our observer is outside the frame of reference of the clock. So, therefore, our clock is proper time. We need to multiply it by lambda. So T is going to be equal to 3 multiplied by 1.81. And we get 5.43. So inside the car, three seconds has passed. But to an observer outside the car, 5.43 seconds has passed. Okay? The trick with this is just knowing which one is proper time and which one isn't. Okay? So you need to think, if you were in the car, if you're in the same frame of reference as the clock, you would see three seconds pass. So that's how you know that is proper time. If you're in the same frame of reference as it, that's proper time. If you're in a different frame of reference, you know, you can't use that as your proper time. All right. I'll get you to try the next one. 